guys, it's Carrie, and I am back with another weekly chat video. And I hope you guys have had an awesome week. I hope this next week is even better. We're going to have Thanksgiving this week in the United States, and I can't even hardly just wrap my mind around it that it's time for Thanksgiving. I'm like, oh my goodness, where has this year gone? I've had a pretty good year, I'm going to say. I have so many things to be thankful for. I can't even begin to name them all, but I thought I would name just a few. I'd say, number one, my family. I love my parents. I uh, love my church. I am thankful for my church. I am thankful for you guys. I love doing YouTube videos. I love chatting with you. I am thankful for the friends that I've made from YouTube. Oh, I mean, like, oh my goodness. Um, Katie is one of my really, really good friends. If I have, if I had not started YouTube, I would have never met her. Barbara, I enjoy talking to you, and I just can't even begin to name everybody. Forgive me if I didn't mention you guys, but um, there's so many of you guys. I just, you know, all, all the ones I've met, I've met a few of you, and I would love to meet more of you. Um, Matthew, I enjoy talking to you. I've been in Nordstrom a few times later, and I haven't seen you in there. I have asked, or like, oh, he's on lunch break, or he's doing something else, but I have been in there to see you. And you haven't been there, but I enjoy talking to you, Matthew, and I'm so thankful I got to meet you. Melissa, if you're watching this video, I was thrilled when I got to meet you here in Nashville. There's just been so many people that I have enjoyed, and thank you guys for finding me on YouTube and chatting with me, and it just makes my day when I get to meet one of you guys. And if you do happen to see me, please come up and talk to me. Somebody left me a comment. They said, I saw you in Lush, but I didn't want to say anything. I'm like, come on over and say something. Sometimes I may not look my best, but anyway, <laughs> um, I love meeting you guys, and that is a huge thing I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the puppies. Oh my goodness, I love those little girls so much. And speaking of the puppies, you will get to see them in this video. I just thought I would kind of flip the video around and do other things first and then do the uh, show the puppies at the end. I hope nobody minds about that. I thought I would just change it up a little bit, but thankful about that. Um, there were some other things they've slipped my mind right now, but there's just I can't even number the amount of things that I'm thankful for. Um, so I just thought I would share that with you. If you guys want to leave something below what you're thankful for, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I do have my notes. I don't have a lot written down on the notes. Uh, let's see. I've, I'm just going to jump around random as per usual for me in these chat videos. Uh, a lot of randomness and rambliness. Um, I've been doing a lot of cooking videos lately, or I should say a lot of baking videos. I've got another cookie video that I believe is going to come up. I haven't, or is going to come up. I haven't edited, edit, I have so much trouble with that word edit. I can say edit, but when I add the ed, it just doesn't come out right. Um, one thing, I mispronounce words a lot. If you're new to my channel, I mispronounce words all the time. Everybody else just has to get used to it because it is the way it is. Um, but anyway, I have not edited that video, um, but it's going to be two different cookies in that one vid video. It has the same base, and then I split the, um, the batter and uh, did two different kinds of uh, cookies. So that one's coming up, but I wanted to put this information out there. I am not eating all these cookies by myself. I am sharing them with other people. So I wanted to get that out there. I love baking and I love giving them to other uh, other people and let them eating it. I, a lot of times I'll tell people that is the talent God gave me was being able to bake cookies. <laughs> um, anyway, oh, I think it's true. Um, we can laugh and joke about it, but I can bake a pretty good cookie and I'm not trying to give myself a pat on the back, but they are pretty good. So I just thought I would throw out that out there that I'm actually sharing them with lots of other people. And one of the reasons why I was doing a lot of cookie videos lately is because of the holidays coming up. A lot of people will do more baking in the holidays. So I was wanting to give you guys more ideas of um, things to make and more different variations of different cookies. And the thing about it is all of these cookies that I have been making have basically a chocolate chip cookie base recipe. And you can just do so many different things things with that base and um, just go from there. Just It's almost unlimited what you can do and um, just have different options. Uh, let's see, I've got my Doug the Pug book. I went and saw Doug the Pug. I did vlog it. It's going to be a very short vlog. Um, I think it's like less than five minutes long. I was going to, I was going to attempt to take lots of photos. Oh, here's the book. Um, 
I was going to take attempt to take lots of photos there, but the bookstore was not very big, and I would say there was probably a couple hundred people in that bookstore. I kind of like found a chair and parked myself in that chair, and I don't know, yes I do have it, this is the little line ticket that they did. You can see that I got the letter F, and they did this like Southwest does their flights. They call different groups. So I was one of the people that was near the end of the line. So I sat down in this chair. I got there about an hour early, sat down in a chair, kind of just like staked my claim right there. And I was like, I had a complete view of the stage, and I'm like, this is going to be great. I can get photos where I'm sitting. I can film from where I'm sitting. And then massive amounts of people massive amounts of people came in, okay, like 200, and blocked my complete view. There was even one point where this lady, um, she was sitting beside me, but then she stood up and was literally like just a few inches from where I was sitting. Um, and it was got a little bit claustrophobic. I'm not really claustrophobic, but if you were, it would have been awful. Um, I, I, I appreciate that the store had this book signing. The negatives, I would say, I'm going to give you the pros and cons. I really wanted to meet Doug the Pug. Um, the book is very, very cute. It's more like a, here, I'll just show you. Each page has a photo of Doug with a different caption, him dressed in different, vid uh, different videos, I'm sorry, different costumes. And it's just very cute. I almost think if you're having a little, a little bit of a bad day, grab this book and just laugh at these photos of Doug and so I think the book is very cute. The downside to this event was that you had to purchase the book to get in line from this particular bookstore and it's from Parnassus Books. I've never even heard or the bookstore I've never even heard of this book seller in Nashville. This bookstore in Nashville it was a very cute bookstore. I wanted to look around but basically once I saw that chair and the amount of people that were coming in I just staked my claim and didn't look around a lot but that was a negative I thought. Some people might have wanted to order their book off of Amazon because it was cheaper but if you had have done that you could not have gotten in line to meet Doug. Um, the owner, Doug's owner, Leslie, um, she was actually keeping Doug entertained and occupied during this um, event. So they had, a, she had a stamp, and I heard this is actually a stamp of his actual, like an imprint of his paw. And so that is supposed to be like his actual paw that they stamp, um, um, that she had made. So that's all you got. She didn't sign the books. Um, Obviously, Doug didn't sign them, so just another employee was signing the books. And so, um, you know, I thought I would like to have had her sign them, but I realized that um, because Doug is a dog, she had to keep him entertained. If she was, I think it would have been nice if she could have been sitting beside him, signing books as well, but that would have taken longer. Um, anyway, uh, there were pros and cons to the event. I'm glad I did it, but I was literally there two hours. I got there an hour early, and then it took about an hour from the time they started with my a, group A to they got to group F. Anyway, that happened. I'm just reaching back to grab my notes. I'll set them back there. Um, I wanted to show you this little contraption. If anybody has been to maybe a drugstore, Target, Walmart, you may have seen these. These are actually from ChapStick. They pull apart or twist apart. I've got them clicked together. Oh, there they go. Like that. And these are called ChapStick Duo. I'm not a ChapStick fan, honestly, but I saw these and I thought they were so cute and I just had to try them. I have used them and I've got to tell you, still not a fan of ChapStick. I am going to use this or at least try, attempt to use a lot more of it, but this one is pineapple and the other one is um, coconut. So it kind of like, if you want to put a little bit of the coconut, a little bit of the pineapple, it's got a, like a pina colada flavor. I, I will not repurchase another one of these, just going to be honest with you. Um, I don't think they're that good. Cute. Yes, they are. They smell wonderful, but I don't think they're that good. Um, let's see. Friday's video went up live by accident on Thursday. I didn't mean for that to happen. My error in judgment, I was, I don't know, I just looked at the date. I think I thought Friday was the 17th instead of the 18th, but it happened. So you got a video a day early. That was the Sephora VIB haul, but 
it is what it is. I make mistakes often. Yes, I do. Um, one other thing before, um, a couple other things, then I'm going to go get the puppies. Um, Louisa Villaroma, I'm just jumping into another topic if you're not used to me right now. Louisa Villaroma is like a online seller. I think it's based in, I want to say Florence, Italy. I know it's Italy, but I'm not 100% sure it's Florence. They have like designer items there. As well as stuff that's not really designer. I think they have Tommy Hilfiger stuff as well as Gucci stuff. So they do discounts quite often. Usually the discount is either 10% or 15% depending on the amount that you spend. And you can get that off of an item. And so I was been looking at a couple of different things on their site. There is an item that is on my wish list. If you remember I said there was five items on my wish list that I wanted to get. I've gotten four of those items and there's a fifth item that I really want. I'm not sure that it's going to happen. It is a pair of uh, Jean Vito Rossi, the plexi pumps, but I want them in black and I don't want black patent. I don't want black suede. I just want the black leather, the regular leather. I cannot really find these anywhere. So I went onto Louisa V Aroma. They do have a lot of the John, John Vita Rossi Plexi Pumps, and they have some that are heavily, I'm going to say, they're not really on sale, but they're discounted compared to everywhere else. They're like $200 cheaper, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like a silver sparkle. The, the toe part and the back part of it is the same color. They're not one of the mixed patterns on it, or the mixed prints. Um, not even a print, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm... I almost got those because Louisa Villaroma did a Black Friday code like a, like a week and a half before Black Friday. So I'm kind of wondering if they're going to do another one. And this one was 20% off. So these shoes were already discounted. And then I was going to get another 20% off of them. But I just couldn't make myself do it because it wasn't the item on my wish list. I love Jean Vito Rossi's shoes and these shoes were absolutely gorgeous. And they were even cheaper than all of the other shoes. The um, This particular shoe, they have one almost like it at Neiman Marcus, but it's like the two, I want to say two-tone one. The silver sparkle is in the front at Neiman Marcus, and then the back part of the shoe was a different color. And they were literally like almost $200 more at uh, Neiman Marcus. So I was like, man, I could have gotten a really great deal, but I just talked myself out of getting them. And now the code has expired. It's not good anymore. So if they do come out with another code for 20% off actually on Black Friday, I may still get them. But I'm kind of like, I really want the shoes in black. So I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. Sorry for moving around. My foot was going to sleep. But anyway, that happened. But definitely check out Louisa V Aroma for great deals. They do discount codes. And these shoes were cheaper than anywhere else. So... Just thought I would share that with you. One other thing before I go and get the puppies, I went ahead and set up an Instagram account for them. And I'm still not sure how I feel about doing that. Um, I said, I'm almost positive I said in one of these other videos that I was not going to do it and here I am doing it. And the reason why I went ahead and did it was because of going and seeing Doug the Pug and reading the bio of why his owner, Leslie, decided to set up his Instagram account. I thought it was really smart why she did it. She basically said that she was posting photos on her like social media pages and her friends told her that something like they got tired of seeing him or you're just posting so many photos. We want to see other things. Go ahead and set up his account for him and do it that way. So that's kind of the reason why I did it for uh, the puppies. So their Instagram account, I'm just not sure I'm gonna keep up with it, but if you wanna go check it out, some of the same photos are out there because they were the ones I'd already posted. I think there may be a couple of different ones that are not on my, my Instagram account, but their account is Coco underscore Chanel underscore Dachshund. And I will link it below as well if you wanna check it out. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's your choice. And again, I'm not sure how much I'm going to do with it. I, it was just so much easier putting, putting them on my account. But then I got to thinking, I set my account up 
Um, really just show a lot of fashion stuff, which I don't do that much either. I just really don't do a lot with Instagram, honestly. Let's put that out there. But we will see how it goes. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Let me know how you guys, you guys feel about it. Would you rather just see them on my Instagram page or would you rather see them on their own page and it just be all them? Um, so just let me know. I'm just still working out my decision if I'm going to keep up with it, but I thought I would just go ahead and just snag that name. Um, it wasn't the one I actually originally wanted. Every name that I was trying was already was already taken so that's how they ended up with the one they got so nothing really catchy at all but anyway it is out there now um i will probably be definitely be posting more photos to it but we'll just see how it goes so right now i'm going to go grab them so you guys can see them they have gotten so much bigger i've got them here oh my goodness coco is going crazy this is what she does when she's excited and um oh my goodness oh my goodness She's definitely not going to cooperate whatsoever. She is so hyper. When, um, when she's getting sleepy, she calms down. But right now, this is what she does when anybody picks her up. Oh, my goodness. She wants to lick my face, and I would prefer she not do that. <laughs> oh, anyway, here she is. She's just not going to cooperate. And she loves chewing on hair, which I would prefer she not do that either. Look at her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're being so bad right now. Yes, you are. Everybody wanted to see you, and you're not cooperating, Coco. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let me grab Chanel. Here she is, and she's the calm one. <laughs> I tell her, it's like, Chanel, you're really better than your sister. <laughs> I don't think they understand me, but anyway, here she is. That's Coco whining right now. See, there I am right here, Chanel. You want to look at the camera? Oh, yeah, that's a sweet girl. That's a sweet girl. Yes, you are. But let me show you how big she is. She cooperates a lot better. I'm like, I. she's just gotten so big. On one hand, I want them to stay little because they are just so cute. But I know they have to get bigger. And I love them so, so much. Potty training is going a lot better, um, thankfully. They still have some mistakes, but I suspect that will go on for a while. And um, they're playing a lot. They're still fighting a lot, but I think that's just how they play. As you can see, Chanel's ears have straightened back out. She's not cooperating very much for you guys to see her, but they have gotten back out, of straightened back out. So I guess it's just part of the way puppy's ears just change. And um, she's doing really well. Let me see if Coco's going to cooperate a little bit more so you guys can see her. She's calmed down just a little bit, but um, she is a little bit smaller still than her sister. But I think she is the alpha dog in the family. Um, definitely bullies her sister a little bit, but Chanel just kind of uh, goes with it. And um, Coco's the hyper one, and Chanel is the laid back and docile puppy. Um, they're doing very well. They're going to go to the vet on Monday to have, I think, some more shots. I don't know what all is going to happen on Monday. Coco did not do well with the last vet vis vet oh, excuse me I can't speak vet visit did you you didn't do well at all so I'm hoping everything goes well and she's not too mean to the vet and doesn't bite her you're not gonna bite her are you uh, we hope not but um, after this visit I think this will be their fourth round of shots so far they had one with the breeder where I got them from they've had two since I've got them so that's three so whatever this is going to be the fourth round and I'm hoping the vet gives me the go ahead to be able to take them out to the park and go walking they do get to go outside a little bit um, I take them outside here and um, we really just don't get out of the driveway though they get to go on the back porch and they absolutely love it outside um, a lot so I really want to take them to the park but I also want to keep them safe so they don't catch anything from another dog because that has not been vaccinated and I just don't want anything to happen to them like that and get sick so um, anyway you know I will follow whatever the vet says but I'm hoping that after this round of shots they will be good to go and we can go to the park and go walk in and I'm trying to get them used to their harness harnesses and the leashes um, I probably will take my dad with me when we first take them out to the park because just walking them outside 
they're constantly getting the leashes tangled up together so I think it'd be easier if we take two people and have one person hold one and one person hold the other so I thought we would probably do that as well and I think they're also going to have to have their nails clipped this vet visit they're getting kind of long and I am a super nervous about clipping their nails when I had my other dachshund Clancy her name was Clancy um, and the reason why I named her that is because Tom Clancy is one of my favorite authors. A little bit of a side note there. So um, I attempted to clip her nails and it was a nightmare. She hated it. She could feel that I was nervous and then you can't really see where you're supposed to stop. So I was just so, just n so nervous about it that I just did not do well. And um, I'm just going to let the vet do it and some a professional do it. So um, just not good at that. But so far, though, they're doing well. They're so playful. They're eating well. Potty training is going better. And they're just so cute and sweet. Um, and I love the fact that they've got different personalities. And it's just amazing to me how much they have changed since I brought them home the first day. Um, really, they've almost like changed, kind of like switched personalities. Coco was the more quiet one, just really calm when she was, um, when I first got her. Chanel was the more lively one, and then all of a sudden Chanel calmed down and Coco got hyper. So let me um, show you Chanel again. I kept holding Coco there. She was finally still for me, and I thought I would show her more when she was being still. But here's Chanel again. They have been playing so much this morning, and I think they're ready for their nap. Say, so we take lots and lots and lots of naps, don't we? Yes, you do. She's a sweet girl. But I love these little girls so much. And thank you guys for being so kind in your comments about them. I know you guys just love seeing them as well. I'm going to go ahead and end this chat video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you are here and you celebrate it, if you're not, I hope you have a wonderful week anyway. Bye-bye, guys.